it is interesting, and we're going to obviously look at prices here, you know, kind of first thing. But you and I were just talking about Bitcoin and ETH here the last couple of weeks, well, last week, really. And uh, I, I cut up one of our clips and put it out that, um, you know, we're more likely to see BTC go back to 35K than to 50K which is something you kind of, we both agreed with last week. And we're already, I think, starting to see the beginning of that move. Um, you know, we've seen it dip over the last couple of days. Now, a small rally today, but with a local top at almost 45K, 44K to 45K here over the last week, you could kind of just see it. I mean, everybody, the market's just getting a little bit too frothy, not realizing like it's still 2023. Um, you know, not that, you know, we don't know everything. Obviously, nobody does. Um, I guess it could have just gone straight up to maybe 48 or so and rejected off of there. But certainly at this point, we look like we've probably got a local top. I I'd venture to say maybe it's going to be our high for the year. I mean, it's not saying a lot. We only got three weeks left. Um <laughs> But I do think we are going to see some continued, you know, modest red for Bitcoin and the rest of the market at large here anyway for the next couple of yeah. weeks and just see a pullback. It would just make sense. Um, you know, all these people, I, I just saw a poll the other day. I forget who took it, but it was a, a, a big time account. But most people were somehow actually expecting the 50K would happen this month. I mean, I don't know. I think that's just... That screams that, like I only hold Bitcoin and I need this to happen, you know. Yeah, and I, yeah. I think maybe that's where that energy is coming from. Um, yeah. But yeah, I think a lot of people. Uh, yeah, I think a lot of people forget that there's some large, large investments or investors in the markets um, who will not be afraid to take profits before the happening, just knowing previous cycles, what's going on, um, and, and I think that you know, you're seeing that you're seeing the early ah! onsets of that. Uh oh, sorry about that. She can join um, in. <laughs> she's usually <laughs> right beside me, but Gee, that's her first bark we've ever heard. So actually that's I a, know. That's big for her. Yeah. I, I, I do have a dog. So yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I forget where I even was. Oh yeah. There's, so there's a lot of, you know, large, large players in there that know how to play the markets that will do this type of thing. Um, and you know, you're seeing it. That's kind of why we said there will be a, a, a sizable pullback here by the end of the year. Uh, some people taking profits, waiting for it to dip back down uh, to get their entry point before it takes off, then before the happening starts. So just yeah. what we're seeing, you know, we, 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 we've been talking about it and, and warning people that it's, it's not going to continue to go up. And most of those people that say 50K by the end of the year, uh, you know, they're the ones that were probably calling for you know, three hundred thousand dollar Bitcoin at the end of the last cycle, and <laughs> right, right. So you just watch out, be careful, and and don't overextend yourself because there is going to be you know this pullback, and and who knows how how far it will dip. Sometimes it's been pretty sizable. Yeah, yeah. I think um, maybe worst case scenario we go back to the low thirties again. Although I don't know that I I like I said worst case scenario, but I, I think in the region of thirty five k again, and that could even. You know, I mean, from the even the, the point we're at right now, I mean, I think there will be a time here early in 2024 that we're trading below these prices, you know, and I, I think that we've had this conversation, not just with with crypto altogether, but also our ecosystem with Pulse Chain and everything that, you know, well, 2024, we figure to be a bullish year all around for the most part. Um I think people are going to be amazed when it's like the calendar turns to January 1st and everything's not just instantly super bullish. You know, I mean, yeah. it's still going to take a little bit of time. And, you know, people do forget, like with these market cycles in crypto, that great stuff and the blow offs happen in this very, very condensed period of time at the end. You know, yep. um, usually condensed yeah. to about two months. Um Mm -hmm. And and that's maybe even pushing it. Sometimes several weeks uh, is is usually when you see the majority of the big green candles. It all happens very fast, um, and it, it it comes and it goes. So if you're not ready for it, you know that's why we say DCA in so that you're you're there uh, when it does happen instead of trying right. to time it. People will be kicking themselves really, really hard for not DCAing over the last year and a half or so, for sure, uh, once things take off. 